Hi guys, I don't know what's going on. I'm having some connectivity issues um, and I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but hopefully we will get through this and in the next 15 minutes, we'll see. Um, so this is Jamie from Horizons Like Coaching. I am connecting here with you again today to talk about marching forward in our lives and creating new habits to, to kind of get the life that you've always wanted and to work towards feeling really fulfilled and good with your life. We talked um, a couple weeks ago about breaking old habits. And so with new habits and old and breaking old habits, the one thing, there's a few things you wanna remember actually. First, you've done it a million times in your life before. So yeah, breaking habits, making new habits is hard, but that, you've never, it's not something you've never done before. You've done this as a child. Uh, you broke the habit of crying and needing a comfort object every night, maybe, maybe not. Um, you did this when you started to learn to get up at a certain time for work or to go to school. Um, so you've done this, you've broken bad habits, you've created new habits constantly. I really don't know why I'm having trouble with my connections. Um, but you've done this before, it's nothing new. But it does require commitment and it does require some dis discipline. So a lot of researchers will say, well, it takes 21 days to create a new habit, but that doesn't mean that after 21 days of doing this habit consistently that it's super easy and you never have to think about it and it's as automatic as turning on the light switch when you walk into a room. It's not like that. You still need to make that decision and make that commitment that this is a part of your um, I'm hoping that this is working. I'm not really sure. Uh, um, so yeah, so you got to keep committing to it. You got to keep that discipline every day. You need to declare that intention to keep that habit or break that habit and commit to it. So I'm going to talk to you today about five, five habit hacks um, in making new habits and sticking to them. So the first one is called habit stacking. So if you've read James Cleary's automatic um, habits, habit, automatic habits, Adam, Adam had, oh, my connection it is messing me up guys. I am so sorry. Um, so yeah, so Atomic Habits by James Cleary. Uh, he talks about habit stacking and a lot of people have also introduced that concept. So ha what habit stacking is, is the idea of taking a habit that's already super ingrained into you and adding in a new habit, stacking it on top of the habit that's totally ingrained into you. So I, I um, had a meeting, um, a webinar with this one guy from from story brand and he was amazing like super inspiring but he 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 told us he's like what if i told you you will never forget to floss again and it made me a little nervous i was like what are you gonna tell me is there like some monster growing when i'm not when i don't remember to floss in the morning um but it wasn't anything like that it was simply the idea of habit stacking so First thing you would always do every morning, no matter what, no matter who you are, you're gonna go to the bathroom, right? You gotta go potty. You've not done anything all night, so you kinda, you gotta go, right? So if you commit to, I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm going to floss before I let myself go to the bathroom, then it becomes, you're stacking that and not letting yourself do something that you have to do, that you're used to doing, that you know you need to do without choice. You're stacking that other habit on top of it. So that's habit stacking. So that's one really great way um, to to commit and, and into into creating that habit. It's sort of like when you were a kid um, and growing up and your parents said, while you have to get the work done first and then you can play. That was habit, habit stacking. You did one thing and then you followed it up with what you like to do and followed up with a rewarded, a reward kind of habit that you wanted. So do the work, then do the, do the play. So that was, 
So second, so first one, a habit stacking. Second one is the Pomodoro method. This is an awesome, awesome technique for, especially for studying or getting things done that you have to get done. Um, it's an idea called, it's an idea with time chunking. And you can actually find apps and timers that work this way. So the idea is, um, and, and this kind of plays off of the whole idea of, of do your work and then do the play. Well, some of us can't work that way. Some of us can't focus our attention in one huge block to finish this and then be able to go have fun and relax. Some of us need to break it up into chunks. So the Pomodoro method, the way it works is that you take 20 minutes and you set a timer, live by the timer. Uh, you all have one on your phone, so use it and, and really pay attention to it. So you set the timer for whatever works for you, whether it's 20 minutes or 45 minutes, and you commit, I'm not gonna look at my phone, I'm not gonna go on social media, I'm not gonna play a game, I'm not gonna do any of that for 20 minutes or 45 minutes, whatever you've set that timer for. And then you set a timer again after that 45 minutes, and you give yourself 10, 15 minutes where you play and you relax, you quick watch a show, you grab a snack, uh, you take that break. So especially if you have ADHD or ADD or attention struggles, that's a great method for, for really being able to help yourself focus. And then you keep doing that cycle. So 20 or 45 minutes work, focus, five, 10, 15 minutes play, go back and do it again. So that's called the Pomodoro method. Time chunking, super great way to study and to focus. And because you're living by that timer, you're being told and you're being monitored that I have to stick with what the timer says. Um, don't try to do it without a timer. <laughs> really, you need to use the timer, especially if you're just getting used to it. It helps a lot. So number three, habit number three, Yes, yeah, Mary, uh, totally. I do the same thing and I'm breaking out um, and my connection goes away. But yes, anytime you feel like you're falling into that trap of just going on your phone too much, Pomodoro method, use the timer, it helps a lot. Um, so habit number three, make it fun, make a game, add a reward system to what you're doing. So if you're studying, turn it into a game, do, uh, do drills in, with your basketball. If you're, if you love to play basketball, uh, shoot your, shoot your, shoot the basket. And every time you make a basket, you have to recite a fact. Um, and you associate different rules or games, playing a card game with a friend. And as you do it, every time somebody wins, you quiz each other really quick. So if you turn it into a, into a game, into something fun, um, cleaning, adding, dancing with music, right? Um, anything you can do to make your habit fun, to make it more enjoyable, make it something you want to do by adding in another element. So you know you have to do this habit, what can you add to it to make it bearable? Um, okay, so habit stacking, Pomodoro method, make it fun, turn it into a game, add a reward system. Um, the other idea is to plan it and do it. So this is a habit, You, if you read anything like millionaire mindset or anything like that, the number one thing they will say is before I go to bed, I plan what I need to do the next day. I list it out, I put it in my planner, I make my to-do list. And not only do I just create a to-do list, I focus on figuring out what are the three things, it's the rule of three, what are the three things I have to make sure I get done tomorrow. So now your brain already, before you go into, at night, it, it, go to bed at night, your, your brain is already processing and getting ready and prepping you with that idea in mind of, I'm gonna do these three things tomorrow. You have it written down, you've set it to yourself and made that plan, that course of action. You did it the night before, and you already know, you wake up the next morning, you already know that this is what I gotta do today to be successful. And let yourself know that, hey dude, I didn't get the 10 things on my list that I have to do done, but I got the three most important things that I had to do, I got done. 
um, and that's super important. And that idea is echoed in uh, the book Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. <laughs> super funny name, but there's a reason behind it, but a really, really great resource as well. Um, there's so many great resources in, in the self-development section, guys. Check out those books. Um, and actually, I'm going to be talking to you next month about some fun stuff we're going to do with that. But yeah, so plan it, do it. Think about the rule of three. What are the three things you must make and plan it the day before? And that will just get you rolling. Um, and the fifth one, fifth habit hack is to do what works for you. You know yourself better than anyone else. And what works for one may not work for another. That's just like with anything in life. You have to figure out what works for you. And sometimes that takes some trial and error. So just like us growing up and we having us having our parents tell us, well, get all your work done and then you can go outside and play. Well, doing sitting down for two hours in one big chunk may not work for someone who just has to move and that be a better fit for that. So make sure that you are doing what is going to work for you. Uh, I've mentioned before the idea that, you know, we as a society, <laughs> we do two things. We condemn people who stay up late at night and wake up early. If you wake up, or I'm sorry, wake up late. If you wake up late, if you're a person who sleeps in, you are seen as lazy. Um, but what they fail to recognize is that you are being productive between the hours of nine and one in the morning where others are sleeping. Your time, your body, your clock just works differently and that's okay, accept yourself. Um, the other thing, as with everything, balance and take it with a grain of salt, but procrastination sometimes is just a method of the way that you work better. And if you can take the two days before before you're getting ready to do your welcome berry, if you take the two days before something's due and you just know that it's there, you start planning it in your head and don't allow yourself to stress over it, knowing that this is where, this is the chunk of time that I need to make this happen and I'm not gonna stress because I'm going to just set this, stuff, this, side of, this time aside to make it happen. Yes, you have really, you have to really be careful about not falling into the cram and slam kind of a deal, um, but know what works for you and make that work for you. And don't let anyone tell you you're wrong because you do it a little differently. If it's working, if you're being successful, if you're not stressing yourself out, then you're doing the right stuff. Okay, so... Those are five habit hacks. Um, and I just want to end really quickly. And again, I really hope that this is working because it gets trying to reconnect. Um, I literally just found out, I just saw on the news right before um, that there was another mass shooting last week again uh, at the salons against Asian Americans. Um, today, there was one in Boulder, Colorado. And I just want to just take a moment and, and maybe we'll talk more about this next week, but just remember, stand up against hate. This world is hurting a lot. And the more that we can do something kind and good for the people around us, for ourselves, you know, that that's just as important. It's not selfish to do something good for yourself. Um, the more that we, that we can support marginalized community groups do it, do whatever it takes, hug somebody tomorrow, give them a compliment, just spread as much love as you can in this world because you know what, it sucks. There are now 10 more families that are mourning tonight that should not have. 10 lives that are no longer going right now that they, they had no, no reason to leave this planet. And so just take a moment, give those people you love a hug tonight and every stranger you meet tomorrow, especially if there's someone who's in a marginalized group, um, an LGBTQ plus, women, African American and blacks, um, people of color, Asian Americans, Hispanic, just spread the love tomorrow. Yeah. All right. 
Bye, guys. I will see you next week. Don't forget, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, please reach out at Horizons Like Coaching. I would love to work with you, um, and I will see you next week.